I'd like to describe Michael with the following words. On a record when there's this awesome bass groove, everyone's like, wow, that's so cool. Brown energy rub down. <laughs> I was just thinking of funny words. <laughs> uh, he is charming and altogether uh, goofy at the same time. And you don't know necessarily when he's serious or not, which is tough for some people to to grasp. But I don't I don't have any issue with. I think he's got a great sense of humor. What are the some of the bands you've been in? Can you list them? Uh, okay, I started out in high school in the Vampire Sorority Babes. He was in a band called Poop Death. River Runs Red. He was in a band called Witches Head. This band called Shut It Down. It was just some like goofy hardcore punk band. Go seven seven eight eight, and then drop the set, drop the eight and a half time. So you're going like the frantic pace right here. And two man, two man called Stag. I saw them a few times. I was like, this guy's really talented. He's kind of nutty. The first time I ever really met him was the first time you met him, which is when he just came and played, which was just an uncomfortable weekend. You know, that was an awkward weekend. It's like just this awkward. You know what I mean? Just like putting all the same ends of the seatbelt together. It's not going to work at all. I was in Mar and with Colin and a couple other people. And now I'm in Jack Black with you. Half time it. Like he's got funny tattoos. It's a good like easy way to like start with somebody because it's right there. I thought they were funny. Like, you know, anyone who can take a joke to the end is funny. It's a good sense of humor. That's it. I thought they were good tattoos. It's a funny, it's a funny story. It's a, it's like a parlor trick. It's like being able to run up the wall and do a backflip. Like if you just showed me that you've done that, I'd be like, cool, you can do that thing. <laughs> what is that? It's a very bad tattoo. <laughs> what is it about playing bass you like more? The visceral aspect of it. Like you hit a guitar chord and it's loud, but it doesn't actually shake the floor. Whereas bass shakes the floor. So what do, what do you like about playing uh, the music that we play now? I like that. It, I like that it's polarizing to people. Mm -hmm. It's it's the kind of music I would want to listen to. Still, with heavy music, I was always attracted to. Always, when I was in like second grade, I didn't know anything. I was attracted to. I'm not mad at my mom and dad. But my parents <laughs> were classically trained musicians, and they were very derisive of other styles of music. At that speed, at that speed, it sounds like river dance. <laughs> Let's, let's go make money with music that we write on purpose to be kind of hard to listen to. <laughs> like, the, the art for art's sake aspect of this thing that we're doing as a band is lost on some people. Playing music for the sake of playing music and expressing yourself musically for the sake of expressing yourself musically because it's just something that I just have to get it out of me. It, it just happens like that. It's not something that some people understand. Like that, no judgment, they're not dumb, just it's not something that everybody feels. And I always just felt kind of lucky to, to be in a band with him. He is a riff machine. Just because he was a riff machine. I, for, I thought describing him as brown, it just seemed really appropriate. I don't know, I literally don't even know what that means. Man, when I think of Michael, I sort of think of the word brown. And then rub down, which is just a funny word. Yeah, I thought of. 